Gameplay begins with the planning phase. During this step, each player must place one order token face down on each area containing one of his units. Units consist of footmen, knights, ships and siege engines. There are five different types of order tokens that a player can use. March, Defense, Support, Raid and Consolidate Power. Some orders have modifiers that affect the combat strength of units on the battlefield, while other, more powerful orders are marked with a star icon. These special orders are stronger variants of each order type. The number of special orders a player may place during the planning phase is determined by his position on the King's Court influence track. March orders represent the movement of troops and ships across the lands and seas of Westeros. Only by assigning march orders to units on the game board can players take control of new areas and engage opponents in combat. Defense orders represent the preparation of strong defensive positions. They grant a combat strength bonus to the defender of the assigned area. Support orders represent martial assistance to combat in an adjacent area. A player may not only grant support to his own adjacent units, but to adjacent units controlled by other players. This makes the support order the fulcrum of intrigue and negotiation in a Game of Thrones, the board game. Consolidate power orders represent the garnering of local favor, the collection of income tax, and the harvesting of resources from areas under a player's control. Raid orders represent aggressive incursions and pillaging of enemy lands. They are used to remove adjacent enemy support, consolidate power and raid orders. After all orders have been placed, they are simultaneously revealed for the action phase.